Debbie Curtis Preston from TrueBit TV talking to Michael Tenenhaus, CEO of Mavenspire. How's it going, Michael? It's going pretty well. How's it with you? Doing all right. This is like, uh, I think, my 475th interview this week. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a long week, uh, but, uh, but excited for that. So tell me uh, a little bit about Mavenspire. Okay. So Mavenspire is a data center focused bar off of the East Coast. We work on, um, we're a Dell exclusive bar, which means we work with the Dell technologies that are, that are the network and enterprise technologies. So server network storage, and then their software group, which includes a large set of stuff from data integration all the way through through uh, security. Okay, um, and, and how, does, how does Nexenta come into that? Well, Nexenta is part of the um, software defined data center kind of approach. Dell is a very big choice partner. Like they, they believe that Everything should be open and you should have choices about how you go about implementing uh, data center technology. And Nixenta has been a great player for us and a great addition in augmenting technology um, like server technology and being able to provide enterprise class storage on those kinds of existing technologies. And what, what do you think drives people towards uh, this type of architecture versus you know, a more closed uh, architecture based on silicon? Hmm. Um, you know, honestly, it seems to be a lot about flexibility these days. There's, there's a whole lot of, you know, should I be in the cloud or should I be on on-prem kind of internal discussion going on at the, at the customer level. Mm -hmm. And this is a happy medium. Uh, sort of like the hyper-converged space as well. Right. If, I can, if I can use software with a server that I, I know how to use and it's simple to configure and, and it provides me my same services at a lower cost point, then... I can stay out of the complexity of the cloud, which maybe is a little scary right now, um, and I don't have to worry about some of the um, media about the security of the cloud, um, and, I, and I can kind of do things the way I did them before, but I can do them with much more flexibility, and I can do them at a lower price point. Now, uh, again, you being a Dell reseller, so you have access to sort of the more traditional architectures, like, what, what, I don't know if I can call Equalogic a, a, a traditional, right? It's very, almost non-traditional, but it's yeah. centralized storage. And, uh, and access to this. Do you see any sort of, is there a, a trend uh, one way or the other? Do, is there just growth on both sides? Uh, actually, we see uh, growth on both sides. We, we do see a lot of organizations that, want, that, that are building in such scale on premise that it just makes more sense economically to go with centralized storage options. Mm -hmm. um, Dell likes to talk about the fact that really if you look at how, how those things work, they're really software on top of their hardware. Mm -hmm. Making it, making it go. So they are sort of software defined, right, depending on how you right. define that term. But, um, you know, especially when you start talking about remote locations or um, for those service provider communities, you know, the, when, when they take on customers, they're trying to create environments, pods that represent that customer community. So you can kind of have both. Like I can use the software defined sort of on hardware approach for a pod mm -hmm. and still have my holistic operation be on the more central. Um, traditional or, or modular approach. Right, right. And uh, is there anything in particular that drives a person towards one or the other? Um, honestly, I think the biggest, the biggest decision factor has been about dynamic. We get a lot of people who come in and have very elastic requirements. Mm -hmm. You know, today I need to do something at a scale of 25 users, but tomorrow it might be 1,000 or not. Mm -hmm. um, that sort of um, huge elastic need right. would tend to push someone towards the software defined kind of more scalable right. scale out kind of technologies. Right. Um, people who come in and have a pretty definitive, um, I need to support 2,000 users, I have 200 terabytes to do today. We've seen a lot of that go towards the, you know, the converged model, the more traditional centralized storage models. Interesting. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always, um, always interested, you know, people that sell multiple technologies and see sort of how their customers are responding. So I, I think that's very interesting. Hey, well, th uh, thanks for taking the time to talk. No problem. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos on TrueBit.TV.